Welcome to the ECDL Word Processing module, section 1.2.4. Here we need to display or hide built-in toolbars and also restore or minimize the ribbon. So if we go back into Word, we can see that the ribbon is this whole section along the top that has all of the buttons on it. Each of these sections we can almost think of as a toolbar as it was in the older versions of Microsoft Word. Now, first of all, let's have a look at uh, showing or hiding toolbars which are built in to Microsoft Word. To do this, you'll need to find a blank section of the ribbon somewhere, so you're not clicking on a button, uh, but just find a blank area somewhere within the ribbon and right click. You'll get this menu and you'll need to go down to customize the ribbon. This brings up this option which allows you to see and customize all of the different toolbars which are available in Word. You can see we've got the home, insert, design, page layout uh, and so forth. Each of these is effectively a toolbar. Now we can't always see all of these. You're looking at some of these perhaps you don't always see them. Uh, but these will pop up or become available uh, as you're working on a document if they're relevant. You can see though that there is one that's not ticked and this is often not ticked for people uh, yet it's one that is extremely useful especially if you're going to create macros or anything like that. To create uh, or to add this toolbar uh, to the ribbon at the top we simply tick the one that we want. So let's tick the developer tool and let's just for example here uh, remove the page layout. You can see we've got page layout here which is a normal toolbar. Let's get rid of page layout and add in developer. We click OK and you can see that the page layout toolbar has now disappeared but we have this new one here called developer. Now don't worry if you've never used developer. Uh, I do have a number of tutorials uh, throughout the website which explain how to use macros and why they're so useful but for this particular case we're just looking at how you can add or remove toolbars so if we right click again on a blank area of the ribbon and we go down to customize the ribbon let's get rid of the developer toolbar and let's bring back our page layout toolbar I should also explain that these little plus signs to the left hand side allow you to expand that toolbar so you can see that there are different sections within this and you might possibly want to um, edit or remove some of these individual sections uh, adding buttons and so forth but for the purpose of the ECDL course all you need to really worry about uh, are accessing these menus here and either adding them or removing them. So let's click OK and the developer tab is now gone and we have our page layout tab back again. So that's how to add and remove built-in toolbars. Now what about getting rid of the ribbon completely? Well there are a couple of different ways of doing this but for the purpose of the exam because you will need to click on a particular button uh, to show how you would uh, hide or restore the ribbon I'll show you just this one method. So the button you'll want is at the top right hand corner and it's this one with a little arrow pointing up. So it's just to the right of the help button here, this little arrow which if you click offers you three choices. So if in the exam you need to show which button you would click on to hide or restore the ribbon, the answer is simply this little one here with the arrow pointing up. If you need to do it uh, practically, actually to remove or to restore the ribbon, click on this and you'll really only be looking at either the top or the bottom option. At the moment we can see the ribbon, it's visible, uh, which means this bottom option is the one that's selected and you can see that that is slightly coloured blue there. If I click on the one at the very top, auto hide ribbon, you can see the ribbon has disappeared. If I click on this button again, and I choose the middle option, what you get are the tabs along the top which uh, if you click on will allow the ribbon to be accessible but then if you click back into your document it'll hide. 
to restore the ribbon, again, simply click on that bottom option there. And there we have our ribbon back again, as we did to begin with. It's worth knowing how to do that, because even if you're not doing the ECDL exam, and you just happen to be using Word, if the ribbon is not visible, it's important to know how to get it back. So make sure that you know how to use this button. And of course, if you're working on a document and you don't need to constantly access buttons in the ribbon, it's sometimes helpful to just get rid of it so it's not a distraction and it's not taking up extra space on your screen. So it's this button here for showing or hiding the ribbon.